if it doesn't nourish your soul, get rid of it, baby. True words, man. Here's a little ditty I wrote on my uh, Synchrodipity blog called, um, with the title Congruency. And uh, when did I write this? This was a while ago. It's one of my first blogs, I think. Okay, June 2013. So I want to share that with you. Congruency. Our true calling is the call to ultimate congruence within oneself. Carolyn Mace. It could be said that the true spiritual path is the path within oneself of being or becoming a congruent human being. It's living in a state of inner harmony so that we don't live a life of interior betrayal. A congruent human being recognizes and listens to the still small voice within and follows its guidance, even if it is uncomfortable, scary, or unthinkable at first. It might be telling you to pick up the phone, apologize to someone, start walking or exercising, change careers or diet, be more honest with yourself and others, help someone, forgive someone who mistreated or abused you, or whatever it is. Fear might come up. The ego might get noisy and argue with the still small voice and what it's telling you. That's where courage comes in. It takes courage to be a congruent human being. When the still small voice offers us something that has the potential to bring us into alignment with our truth, the courage will be there. It will just naturally rise up to meet and support us. When we are living congruently, we are being our very own beingness, as Lester Levinson used to say. It recognizes a feeling of inner peace, harmony, rightness, effortlessness, balance, imperturbability. Everything just flows. We're not going against anything. We're not resisting anything because we know what is profoundly, quote, right for us. It's not a destination or set in stone. It's a fluid state. It's a place of synchronicity where magic happens. The identity, in my case, the Mu or the Marty, seems to disappear as beingness takes over. As during a performance when the music just flows through the body, through the instrument, as opposed to me, Mu, thinking about it or trying to control it. It's effortless perfection. This is, this is how it is in all areas of life when we are congruent human beings. When we are honest, true, and congruent, everything seems easier, more effortless. It just flows. It's all perfection. Literally all good, regardless of whatever is going on or happening externally. Congruency is a state of knowing and being who and what we really are. June 23rd, 2013. Peace and blessings.